Hello everyone and welcome to my Humble Choice November 2021 review. This month is a whole lot better than last month, and as such, I do recommend the Humble Choice for November 2021. There's only a pool of 10 games, but these are all solid titles with great quality of gameplay, replayability amount, and there's no weird crappy in-browser type games. So without further ado, let's get into it. Due Process is a tactical FPS game where you use strategy and teamwork to win each round and eventually the match with a very friendly community. Look out, Snoop Dogg. Be careful. I want a quick scope on Hey, yeah. Hey, 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 hey. This game is very similar to Rainbow Six Siege with how the rounds are structured and how the gameplay feels. The graphics are a bit more cartoony uh, than Rainbow Six, which I'm actually a fan of, but unfortunately this game really isn't my thing as I've never really been a huge fan of the tactical shooters like this. If you have a couple of friends to play this game with, I could see this being a lot of fun, uh, but personally I'm not sure how much more time I'll spend on this one. House Flipper is a simulation game where you make money by fixing and reselling houses. You have an email inbox with work requests for smaller amounts of cash, with the ability to also purchase and renovate homes. You can then auction these houses off to different buyers depending on how much it suits their needs. Uh, I've played about an hour of this game so far and it was pretty satisfying when I successfully flipped my first home. This game is very polished and I can definitely see myself playing more in the future. Project Wingman is a flight action game where you take the role of an advanced fighter jet pilot and work with your team in order to complete all mission objectives. The graphics in this game were amazing and from the mission I played it seems very polished. The controls were a bit hard to pick up especially while I was using a controller but eventually I got the hang of it and completed the first mission in about 20 minutes. If you enjoy flying or military type fighting games you're gonna love Project Wingman. Wingspan is the next game in the bundle, which is a strategy card game about birds. The art style is very pleasant and relaxing, and the game is themed around hatching and finding birds, which I enjoyed even without being really into birds. The tutorial was very helpful and detailed, and the game is multiplayer with remote play so you can play with your friends. I didn't play too much of Wingspan as it does take some time to learn and get the hang of, but overall a very enjoyable card game. BPM Bullets Per Minute is a first-person roguelike shooter where you perform actions like shooting, dodging, and jumping to the rhythm of the soundtrack. The graphics were the only thing I was a bit unsure about, but the gameplay and roguelike mechanics are done very well and the soundtrack is pretty sweet. Dungeons are randomly generated every run and there are lots of abilities for you to unlock and upgrade, with the playing to the rhythm game style being very unique and fun to play. Definitely going to be playing a lot more of BPM as this was one of my highlights of the bundle this month. Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion is a small puzzle type adventure game where you take the role of a turnip boy with the main goal of committing tax evasion. The storyline is great and the game style reminds me a bit of Pokemon with how it looks and the curiosity of talking to every NPC as you don't know who has a side quest or bonus item. I actually really liked what I've played of this game so far and I can see myself finishing it at some point in the future. Simple Rockets 2 is a game about rocket and flying simulation. It's a sandbox type game with simple missions and objective sets. There are a lot of details and options to pay attention to, which is nice with a game like this as you can make the gameplay as complex or not as complex as you want. This is a super cool idea and executed very well. Uh, I probably won't be sinking too many hours into this one, however a very good addition to the bundle this month. Timely is a stealth puzzle game where you have the ability to control the timing of everything in the level with a media player. The controls are very simple, as with most puzzle games, but you mainly use the rewind feature to plan the best route through the level without being detected. I like the storyline and graphic style of this game a lot, uh, this seems like a very solid puzzle game. Wrath Aeon of Ruin is a Doom-like fast-paced FPS dungeon crawler, where you use different weapons to fight your way through the map. I haven't played too much of this one so far, but the gameplay is very fast paced and the enemies are very satisfying to kill. I can't wait to play more of this title and see how the rest of the game plays out. Mobius Front 83 is a turn based strategy game where you take control of a unit with the simple objective of defeating all enemies. It goes into detail with important information about in each unit, such as how strong it is and where all it can move. This game features a single player campaign as well as an online multiplayer mode that I haven't tried quite yet. 
I enjoyed what I've played so far of Mobius Front, and I will definitely be playing further into the campaign soon. So in conclusion, I was a fan of the Humble Choice this month and definitely recommend it, especially if you're into flying games. The three title games weren't anything too crazy, however this is definitely a step up from last month's choice bundle and I appreciate Humble not giving up completely on the Humble Choice. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.